So here we go. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 36, Movement Clarity. Today's episode, we continued working with our uh, standalone chords and the theme composition geography. And really, initially, our first thoughts are on visual shape, rising and falling pictures on, on a piano roll display. Um, and down the road, we want to address what would it sound like, but we didn't get there yet today, but so that's on our next time. Um, there are a lot of adjectives that we could use that we could compose, and we went ahead and brainstormed them. A plateau is flat, ground is a deep place, uh, gentle, harsh, spreading, ripping open like an earthquake, soft, hard, slurry, thin, fluid mud that you could sink into like quicksand, granite, hard as rock and slow time and fast time. So we had fun doing that. Then we went through and we sorted all, these are the 14 chords, like D41. And um, we came up with some ideas. So the first idea we want to show you is, again, we're starting with 14 chords. Here they are at the bottom. And then we said, well, let's just start with the scales. Can we make a a hill, as it shows over here, is kind of like a round, a gentle up and a gentle down. and Or as this image shows, an up and down, very smooth arc. So we made that, and here's what those sound like. So the main thing to notice is that it's a very long, gentle slope up and a long, gentle slope down, and there's a flat place at the top. So then we racked our brains saying, well, how can we change those arcs so that they're like a steep arc up and then an immediate turn around and a steep arc down? And this is what we've come up with so far. Basically, we just took the scales and knocked out every other note. Uh, but, and we haven't exactly sped it up, but we could do that. Let's do that on the fly to show how much fun it is to work with a, a live uh, scoring program. So we took out every other note. So now we need to play it twice as fast. Does this sound like a peak or not? You be the judge. So that was our first round of ideas, hill mountain figures. Then the second thing we did is we worked on what we call s s slope. So um, when we started brainstorming, you know, a hill has a slope up and a slope down, and a mountain has a slope up and a slope down. So we sort of did some music math and said, well, how different interval chords have kind of slopes. So um, anyway, this is what we came up with. We came up with two figures that are basically up, going up. So all I'll say about that is it needs more work, but what these numbers are, like the three, four, one, and the one turned into a one, and that 0.5, those are, quote unquote, the slope of these notes here. And they're all sloped up, no problem there. The, tr the trouble is they start on different roots, like E, G flat, A flat, and then all of a sudden it goes back down to a D and an E. So what we're hearing in that first note is this backbone. So we're, we're not hearing a, a steady up. So we're not hearing a steady going up or down. So that's why we say it needs more work. What kind of happened, though, as an unforeseen 
serendipitous outcome, though, is we, we added a whole new line called arpeggio. And so we went back to improvisation one and said, well, let's add, let, let's add arpeggios there. So what we're going to do is play for you the new improved improvisation one with um, an arpeggio line added. So here we go. So what we really like about this, it's the same chords and the same backbone. However, taking the chords and making them into triplet arpeggios and changing when they go up and down and what they start on to kind of dance back and forth with the backbone line um, makes it start to sound. We didn't extend the length of it. We extended the, the depth of it, so to speak. Another cool thing is is by giving it a faster layer in there we can we can drop the tempo in half and still get something like this and we already know from our brainwave work in this series that that is going to put kind of more of a trance reflective mood to the piece and the fast part goes like this or if we really want to ex you know and, and it's so much fun doing this you know if we jack it up into a whole new brain level that's obviously too fast or So lots of room to work with there. So that ends today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with the geography pieces, um, dynamic and tempo of the piece you just listened to, uh, more hill, mountain, and slope figures. Uh, and also we want to, we're so far we're being very visual about notes going up and down but what was it what would it sound like to be mushy and and we think we're gonna have to work with timbres um so we're probably gonna want to work with uh right there timbres timbres and attack delay sustain release envelopes because we, we know we've got those kind of patches uh shout out to miss cleo who came by and kept us inspired Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.